Game developers are under siege from an army of online anonymous douchebags. Let me know how you feel in the comments below, but first, my opinion. I'm Tarmac and this is Feature Creep. You know what's funny? I think that every gamer alive today can recall a time of quasi-fury playing something, whether you had the desire to throw a controller, smash a keyboard, yell at the screen, or some other varying degree of an expression of rage. Most of us, however, leave it right there. We get that pang of anger and then it fades, much like when you get cut off by the guy in the truck whose bumper is higher than your windshield compensating for bad genetics in his confidence center. Most of the human population is alright dealing with this kind of anger because it tends to be fairly fleeting and more often than not, damage to ourselves or our things doesn't result. However, there is a portion of the populace that seems to have difficulty with the basic avoidance and mitigation of rage. There are two stories that come to recent mind. The first is Jennifer Hepler, who was a senior writer at Bioware. The news story said that she left Bioware after receiving graphic threats to kill her children on the way home from school. Now, part of the story is a misnomer. She'd left, in fact, to write a book, not because of the threats, and the threats themselves were received shortly after the Dragon Age 2 release, so she's not as weak a person as Metro and a few other news outlets made her out to be. However, the fact that she received personal and family-related death threats for being a writer in a video game does seem a little excessive. The second story was about Stephen Toulouse, who used to be the top guy at Microsoft for Xbox Live Policy and Enforcement. He was asked about the violent messages and said that at that very moment he probably had about 35 death threats of varying degrees in his inbox, even though he hasn't worked for Microsoft in two years. Luckily for his sanity, he's one of the people that has a very thick skin, though he did express the core belief that the reason this happens is because of a lack of consequence. Imagine if there were just a few well-publicized court cases of people being given a proper punishment. In most countries, death threats made in person are usually punishable by anywhere from two to five years in prison. For those who turn out to be minors, where getting any kind of real punishment is nigh impossible, find the parents a whole lot who pay for the internet connection. You'll see that harassment stop really damn quick when little Johnny doesn't get his Call of Duty fixed that week. I should mention that I do realize a good part of the problem is the police not having an interest in going after kids yelling on the internet, but frankly, I could give two shits less what the police want to do when a life has been threatened. Perhaps it's time for the game industry companies to man up and start sending their lawyers at something other than copyright infringement. Now, maybe some will feel that this is unduly harsh. The internet is a rough place, people say. You need a thick skin, they will comment. And yes, that's absolutely true when it comes to criticism and even insult. But when you start threatening the lives of people online, whether they're game developers, their families, or some random person that you had a disagreement with about some random factoid nonsense that doesn't matter to either of your lives in the slightest, you have crossed a line that sane, well-adjusted people do not. Put a good 10 to 20 of these asshole gamers who make all the rest of us look bad in prison for a few years. Blast the media outlets with all the fancy details of what they said and to who. Make them real examples of what happens when you threaten a life, and you'll see it begin to die down. People do this because they can, because there are no consequences online for what you say or who you say it to. It's time for that to change. <laughs> Look at that, I maintained rage for about three minutes, didn't break anything or threaten to kill anyone. It's a good day. Drop me a line in the comments below, hit subscribe so you don't miss anything, and thanks for watching guys and gals, that's all I have to say. Tarmac out. <laughs>